This is the old Royal Naval College in Greenwich, the World Heritage listed site that most Americans, and let's be honest, most Brits know as that place that got blown up in Thor 2. But that blowing up would have been a heck of a lot different if it had happened a couple of decades earlier. See, for many years this was a working Royal Navy training base. That's why it's got the name Old Royal Naval College, that's not centuries ago. There were sailors being trained here up until the mid-90s. And, well, the Royal Navy has nuclear submarines. Nuclear submarines have nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactors need people to run them. And so what do you do if you are the Royal Navy and you need sailors to run your nuclear reactors? Well, you build a nuclear reactor in the basement of a 17th century building just miles from the centre of London. Seriously, right here, somewhere in this complex, somewhere in the basement of this, the King William building, there was a working nuclear reactor for many years, from 1963 to the mid-90s, at the time when Greenwich called itself a nuclear-free zone. This area was specifically exempted. And why was there no outcry? Well, first of all, not many people knew about it. The Royal Navy is quite good at operational security. And secondly, well, despite the words nuclear reactor being quite scary, it was only a tiny reactor. It produced 10 kilowatts, that's enough to power about five electric kettles. And the amount of fuel and waste it produced were actually pretty tiny. There would never have been a Chernobyl here. But, well, if Thor had invaded a couple of... I don't know what Thor did, I, I haven't seen the movie. If Thor had invaded a couple of decades earlier, who knows? There might have been a bit more radioactivity to power his hammer. I, I, like I said, I, I haven't seen the movie, I don't know what his hammer is. This is the first of the videos powered by the things you sent in. Thank you very much to David and Ollie who tipped me off about the reactor in the middle of Greenwich.